Hello guys and welcome back to another Model Railway video and finally I'm back with an upload um, because I've been very very busy um, but anyway uh, we are back with another locomotive review and another member of the collection um, new member of the, of the collection uh, and it is this that's on your screen right now uh, an LMS Black 5 it's my first Black 5 of um, a very long list of locomotives that I have, um, and my first Black 5, considering that it's one of the most famous locomotives, um, steam locomotives in Britain, in terms of how successful they were, and the fact they were workhorse, and they're quite easy to get. This one isn't, um, I will explain a little bit more about this locomotive in a second, but, um, yeah, I've got a Black 5 now. Um, I will end up with a second one at some point. I don't know whether it's going to be next year or the year after. I don't know. But I will get a BR Black 1 at some point. Um, this is a quite a special Black 5. And that's why I've ended up with it. Um, it took so long to get one. But uh, this is uh, LMS Black 5 number 5000. Now, if you don't know anything about 5000, uh, it is the National Railway Museum collection Black 5 that's in NRM Shildon. I actually went there recently when we picked up the MX-5 because it was being restored um, around the corner from the museum, actually. So I've stood next to this loco rather recently. Um, but um, I wanted 5,000 because I have number 1,000, I have number 13,000, which are the NRM collection, middle and compound and crab, and I wanted the sort of special version um, of the Black 5, so it was quite difficult to get hold of. Managed to find this one for sale on eBay, on bids, for 100 quid. Hadn't been bid on, uh, so I kept an eye on it. Somebody bid £100, and then 30 seconds towards the end, I bid 102 and won, not expecting to win, um, and I did. So that's how I ended up with it, so I did win. Um, absolutely glad I did, um, and it's a gorgeous locomotive. So I will run through the box in a second, um, what you get in that, um, and then we will get to running it, etc. So here is the box then, um, as you can see it says NRM, National Royal Museum Collection, which is basically the NCIM, uh, you could get some of these from Locomotion, uh, but unfortunately they don't sell them anymore. Uh, but this one is quite a slightly older model, but it's the same tooling basically, um, it's quite an old tooling actually, um, 2004 this one was dated at, but still gorgeous locomotive and for the right price these are fantastic there's no point in spending 207 quid or whatever they are for the new tool ones because that's a lot of money um but anyway uh, that is a picture of the locomotive the model version uh, that's a bit more about the nrm and this is the loco history so uh, you can pause that and read that if you like it is there for you uh, there's quite a lot of these have been built so um it's quite fascinating. Inside the box, it's just your standard um, old Hornby packaging. There's not really much to see in there. Um, then we have the instructions, which is for the uh, LMS Class 5. You see, it says June 2004 is being written on it. So, But that says 02, so possibly uh, dates back to 2002. It's quite an old tooling. But um, it's not a tender drive or anything, which isn't the ones you want to avoid, by the way. Um, it's a local driven, good quality and stuff, so... Absolutely fine. Um, my West Country is the same in terms of its age. They're very similar. They, they, there's still quite a few toolings out there that date back this long, and that's because they were pretty decent, so there's no need to change them. Um, so that's the that's the back as well. You can pause it and read it if you need to, but you probably don't need to. Um, and that's all of the extra detailing, etc. So keep those safe. Righty ho, back to the locomotive for a bit of detail, so there you go, if I press that, the, the lighting is a bit weird, I don't know, anyway, um, it is a super detailed locomotive, um, it's not up to the modern standards of a 2023 locomotive, it is 18, 19 years old, it's not, well it's 19 years old, so you've got to bear that in mind, but it is pretty much brand new in terms of the way it looks, you wouldn't know that, unless I told you, because um, it's mint, because it's pre-owned as well, it's been really well looked after, so, um, yeah, we will get on to the locomotive detail. If you start at the front, as you can see, you have separately fitted smoke box dart, which is really nice, actually. And then you've got... These are always missing on the Black 5s and ASFs, so it's nice to have one with one on. Uh, you've got, um, I think, a separately fitted or moulded lamp iron on the smoke box, which is there. Um, and then you've got the handrail, and you've got the silver paintwork on that as well, which looks really cool. Number 5000 printed nicely. There uh, you have... A builder's plate 
down there, which you can probably see. I don't know if you can. Well, you can actually. Built 19. I don't know what the date is. I can't read that. You might be able to. Um, because I'm looking through the camera, so that's why I can't read it. Um, but then at the front, you also have um separately fitted spung buffers as usual. That's what you want. Everybody loves spung buffers. Um, and then you have all the lovely lining down the side. It's like the lined LMS black, but most of it isn't lined, but it's got lining. Well, it still hasn't got boiler banding, but then it's got lining everywhere else, and it looks superb. Um, that's why I like this one so much as well. Uh, you've got number 5000 printed on the side, you've got LMS as well printed as well, so that's the lining. There's loads of like multi-detail, got all the rivets everywhere, um, loads of multi-detail here. Um, then you've got the separately fitted handrails across the sides, uh, dome moulded nicely, and then you've obviously got the funnel as well, which is really nice. Um, you've got some metal whistles and safety valves and stuff. Why is this camera doing a nightmare from zooming in? Why are you zoomed in? You need done times two. There we go. I do apologise. This is being a bit weird today. Um, yeah, there we go. And then you've got loads of other separately de separately fitted and moulded detail on the front, like lamp irons, etc. Loads of them everywhere. Um, there's too much to go through in a video, really. Um, I'm not going to go super in depth. Uh, you have uh, glazing as well, which is really nice. You've got these like half windows, which are a bit. I think the other one isn't doesn't exist uh, because they're stupid. Um, and then you do have these really snazzy cam doors actually, I quite like these, we'll take the tender off if I can, there we go, so you can see these tender, stop zooming on the MX-5 in the background, nobody wants to see the MX-5, there we go, um, you've got cab detail in there as well, um, as you would uh, expect from Hornby, um, even though sometimes they don't put it in, but they did in these days, like in quite a lot of logos, these doors are really cool, Actually, like, they do move slightly as well, but I wouldn't, like, prize them or anything, but they're very, very cool. Um, the floor, I think, is just quite a plain floor, but you do have the um, the plate that separates the tender and the locomotive as well. Uh, by the way, the pickup system on this locomotive does work, unlike my 9F, which doesn't, um, which is quite funny. Um, I think one of the wires had broke. Uh, you have steps, which are separately fitted on the back as well, and then... Uh, you have the tender as well, which got loads of multi detail on the front, picking out where the coal comes out, um, which you would be able to see, but the camera's decided to focus on the um, thing on the in the background. Stop looking at the CD player, you stupid thing. Coal load is really nice. I don't think it's removable though. No, I don't think it's a removable coal, but it is quite nice. It looks quite realistic actually. Um, and then you've got all the multi detail for all the uh, where you're getting the water in and stuff at the back. Um, then more handrails, you've got a vacuum pipe that's focusing on the other MX-5. Um, I think this wants to look at MX-5, there you go. There you go phone, have a look at those, there you go. It still wants to look at the MX-5s, there we go. Um, and then I'm going to have to leave it here. And then you've got uh, handrails there, you've got a vacuum pipe there, you've got spoon buffers on the rear, which is what you want, and then... Um, I think a builder's plate on the back, or like tells you how many gallons of water the tender needs. Uh, lots of underframe detail as well, looks brilliant. Um, looks so much better than the awful old tender drive locomotives as well. Uh, the coupling rods are lovely, uh, we'll see those going around uh, very shortly. Um, this is from the days when they didn't blank out the axles on the locomotive, but it doesn't look too obvious, it's, it's fairly okay. Uh, it's, not, it's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, there's, I've probably missed loads of stuff, but... That's as far as we're going with it. Because I want to get the loco running and I want to see what it's like. So we will do that now. So there it is on the track then. The gorgeous LMS Black 5 from Hornby number 5000. And let's see what it's like. First off, we're going to do a bit of slow speed to see what this is like. See how smooth it is, etc. And hopefully the camera focuses and gives us something to actually look at. It's because of the lighting in here is terrible because it's pitch black outside. Because in England, it goes dark very early because the clocks decide to change. I don't know why they do that. It's a bit stupid. But yeah, it's not too bad. There's a little bit of cogging, but nothing. Nothing you wouldn't expect from a local this size, so it's not too bad. It's really smooth in the back. Back was actually it's pretty good. It will go slightly, it will go slightly slower than that. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, that is actually moving. I mean, it's cogging slightly, but that is not bad. That's pretty decent. 
not the heaviest loco in the world though, considering its size, I will say. I mean, it's super quiet and super smooth as well though, which is something I was hoping it would be, because I do quite like locos that are not screamers. Uh, even though my uh, standard class 4 is an absolute screamer, but that's got its own charm, shall we say, because it's a Batman loco, so... No, yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Come on backwards, there we go. Yeah, the tender pickups also do work, but I'm not going to show you because I can't put the phone anywhere. No, so anyway. Uh, coaches, we've got some lined up over there. There's four, so it's a nice test of its strength. Um, nothing ridiculous, uh, but also a um, nice little bit of test for it. Um, and it should look absolutely marvellous. They came with the Princess Coronation class, um, which I believe is a Stania locomotive. I thought this would be my first one, but... I don't think it is. I think it's my second one, but it's a black five. Let's let's say that we've got like some, the LMS collection's gone a bit weird because we're the first local of next year is going to be LMS. I'm not going to say exactly what it is, um, but it's a relatively new release. In fact, it's a brand new release from Hornby, and I'm going to try and um, spend lots of money on one of those because I really want one. I think they're awesome, um, and they are quite good locos as well. And they're really really weird and like and unusual. And I want one. So, anyway, let's enjoy the Black 5 running for a bit. Right, let's try and get this thing running. Let's go. Let's test its strength nice and slow. It doesn't have to go too fast. Should be okay. Bear in mind, no locos have ran for quite a while. And the track's probably a little bit dodgy because it does need cleaning as well. So we'll hope. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. Lots of videos. So this comes out, um, whatever day this video comes out, the Sunday, which is soon, uh, there's going to be lots of videos filmed, so you should enjoy those. Trap, apart from the trap being super dodgy, it's running really well. So, yeah, lovely. It's running really, really smoothly at a nice speed, so... Um, the track is going to be fully lifted and then cleaned and relayed, so hopefully the locos will run a lot more reliably as, as when that happens, so hope hopefully have some better uh, running soon, but it looks absolutely superb, doesn't it? Look how gorgeous that looks. I'm not surprised these are um, some, among some of people's favourite locomotives. Um, I usually don't like stuff like this, but I love a black five. So you can't, can't beat them, can you? They're, they're, they're fantastic. And especially being number 5,000 as well, it's quite a rare locomotive in model form as well, so... It's a nice one to add to the collection that's ever growing as usual. Um, well, yeah, it's running really well. Nice slow speed with some very nice coaches, so let's let go past. Just with the track would be a little bit better behaved, but because it's not sticking together and stuff like that, it's just being very, very dodgy. You can just try and see that locomotive going around, you probably can't really see much because I'm messing with the track. I'm trying to go a little bit faster, because otherwise it might cut out on some dodgy piece of track. Some dodgy piece of track. It's all dodgy. All of it's very dodgy. There we go. Let's try and watch a compass now anyway. Oh, lovely, lovely, look at that. Stunning. It is nice to finally have one. I've been collecting locomotives for nearly a decade now. Um, gradually, it's got more slightly, like, I wouldn't say addicted, but a bit more mad in terms of the collection um, in the last couple of years. But I'm surprised I've not yet got a Black 5, because I've got, like, a 7F, which is quite a rare locomotive. And it's like... For LMS as well, it's it's a bit of a obvious one that you would probably collect because then I've got a Princess Coronation class now and probably going to end up with some Duchesses as well. Um, I thought I'd have a Black Five by now, but I don't. Uh, this is my first one. Um, I will get another one, and obviously I've got to get an ASF as well because that is a classic LMS locomotive, or two, shall we say? Um, but I'm surprised I've not got the, uh, the Black Five. But I now have, so yes, we have finally completed something in terms of a locomotive for the collection, so it's not too bad at all. Quite happy with that. And it's running really well, looks fantastic. 
I'm very happy with it. And it didn't cost a bomb either, which is really good. So, I mean, it stops on the points over there because that needs cleaning. And there's a slight gap in the track, so yes. Um, right, anyway, we're going to have to stop. Um, stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. That was quite high, actually. I didn't realise it was uh, on so high. It was over 50%. But, um, because it's gate quite low as well, which is good. So, anyway, there we go. Um, that is the LMS Black 5 number 5000 then for you. The National Railway Museum Special Edition. Um, hope you like it and you will see it very soon in some more videos. Um, but until then, goodbye.